What's up guys, this is Dr. O from Innovative Dental. Today I am super excited to share with you something I think is gonna really help you out in, in trying to find a dentist. And I'm gonna share with you the five things you should consider as you seek out your next dentist. I'm hopeful that a lot of you already have an awesome dentist, and if you do, fantastic. Obviously, you're, you're a step ahead as far as somebody you trust and, and can really value to help you maintain your oral health. But there's a ton of people, according to the questions that we've been getting, the emails that we've been getting at our practice, that they're wanting me to help them seek out and find a dentist in their community. And I wanted to give some, basically five tips that will help you do this. I feel that will, will give you a good dentist that you can trust. I understand the anxiety that, uh, that people are going through when they're trying to pick a dentist. I mean, you're definitely trusting a complete stranger with something as intimate as your mouth and trying to decide, um, it, is it going to be a good scenario? Or am I gonna, are they gonna listen to me? Are they going to give me the best care? You know, maybe you're seeking some cosmetic dentistry and that's even another step of trust, right? Because you're not just asking for somebody to do a few fillings, you're asking somebody to, hey, don't mess up my grill, you know? And that's, that's even another level of trust that I think is a difficult hurdle for people to get over when they go to a dental practice or a new office and a new facility. With today's discussion, I'm hopefully gonna help you navigate that. Obviously, I wish I could help everybody make that decision. Heck, I wish everybody would come to Innovative Dental. I mean, we're a great practice here. We hopefully practice what we preach. So the five tips, hopefully we're na nailing those and delivering that type of five-star customer service and value to our patients. I really feel like we do. But these things uh, are really gonna be important to consider as you find your next dentist or your first dentist. Maybe it's your first one. First one, number one on the list is got to be reviews and reputation. Thank God we live in this market where we can go online and find something. I mean, I won't even go to a restaurant typically if I'm not familiar with what their online reviews are, maybe what a friend has said about them. And so first thing you wanna do before you go to a dental practice is get online. You have a tool right in your hand, probably your, your smartphone, and you can see what their reputation is or their reviews online. I would not go too much just by the overall score. So like for example, Google has a five star scoring system. And I, I think that's great, but more important than that is quantity of reviews and the number of detailed comments that are specific to maybe some procedures or care that you're seeking. So that's important to me when you're trying to decide if you're gonna trust a place with maybe a, maybe it's aligning teeth or braces or Invisalign uh, care, or maybe it's an implant, you know? Search through the comments, find somebody who's gotten an implant there who raves about the way that they do implants. And then so do your research. First and foremost, don't go to a practice that you haven't found out what their reputation is online and you feel good about it. And then you know, reputation in the community. So ask your friends, your coworkers are a great source, right? So somebody sitting next to you or that somebody that you work alongside all day, they probably have a dentist and if they don't, maybe you guys help find one together that you trust. So that's my first, first tip. Definitely reviews and reputation. Now on to our second uh, tip on how to find an awesome dentist. And that would be photos and video. You know, I, you wouldn't even think about touring a home that you'd wanna buy or buying a car. Uh, what's some other things you might look at photos of? You know, clothing. I mean, if you're gonna shop online, you wanna see good quality clothing. And all of that's important because photos document what that company is delivering to their client. We take photos of everything. Matter of fact, we have a little joke in our practice, if you didn't take a quality photo, it never happened. And so what that means for us is that we wanna capture what we do for people because we're always A, trying to improve it, and B, wanna show other people how we might be able to help them. So photos are really important. It should be on their website, social media. I mean, how do I help you find somebody and not mess around and find some offices that you might go, dang it, this was not what I was looking for. And I think ruling out the fact that they have quality photos that document the care they give, whether it's a smile photo, whether it's lifestyle photos of the people that their patients, um, we try to, in all of our marketing, be extremely genuine and clear that these are our patients. They're people we have helped smile. Uh, these are actual treatments we do. And so our videos, 
and our photos hopefully do that. It's one reason this channel is created. I mean, my goal in this channel is to reach out and help people see what Innovative Dental really is all about, uh, how that we're really interested in helping people, even if you can't come to our practice or you have an awesome practice that you go to, whether you live in Springfield or not, we just want to be a, a helper, an educator, a leader in trying to help people make good decisions when it comes to their oral health. And that's our passion, uh, not just providing smiles, but helping people get the best uh, for, their, for their smile. And that's really what the, even this video is about. So hopefully this is helping you. Tip number two, make sure that you go to a practice or rule out practices that don't document the care that they provide and choose practices that could give you a very confident level of, hey, this is what it looked like before we saw this patient, and then look like, look at what we were able to do for them. And hopefully if you had a similar condition, we should be able to do something similar for you, right? So now you're gaining some confidence that, hey, they've just, they've done this before, this isn't their first time. That should be able to give you the confidence to walk in the door and trust them with something as important and uh, as precious as your smile. I got 23 people that are gonna shout amen to this one. The third tip and deciding which practice to go to would be the team. Every dentist is gonna hopefully be able to confidently deliver you, this is what I can do, I can show you what, how I wanna help you, and hopefully they can diagnose and provide care. They're going to talk well about hopefully what they can deliver. I mean, shoot, it would be kind of a bad deal if you came in here and I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna do very good at what you're asking me to do, right? Now, what you cannot and what's very difficult to fake is the team's enthusiasm and understanding for the care that people are getting. And what I mean by that is generally people are good, they don't want to promote something they don't feel is good, and the team is going to know if the care that is being provided is good. So if you are calling up and they don't seem super excited about what they're doing at that practice, that would be a, a big concern. Or if they're not very confident on how to explain what they're doing. If you call their practice and you ask about dental implants, all of our team is gonna be able to give you a pretty decent understanding of our process and how we can help people do that. Same thing with cosmetic veneers. You call up a practice and you're thinking, hey, I wanna change my smile, and they're like, you know, I'm not quite sure how we do that. The doctor will maybe have to go over all of that. And I get that there's some, the doctor should be giving you like the treatment plan, but the team should be able to give you some sort of understanding if you ask questions in detail about a procedure that you're wanting to, to, to go forward with. Um, so hopefully that helps you understand the team is such an integral point, part of providing excellent care and they are gonna find it difficult to fake or mislead the, the patients there with enthusiasm or with an understanding of what they do. And so I would say, you know, you call up and ask a few questions about what you want. They should be able to confidently, enthusiastically, and hopefully you can even sense a smile. I know that our team laughs on the phone. I love it. I walk by the phone and I've got some of these girls that work for Innovative Dental. They're just so amazing. They laugh, they're engaging with patients that they've never met and they're excited about just the opportunity to meet them. And uh, you wanna call a practice that does that. And when you get there, you wanna get that same vibe. So the team doesn't just start with the phone call, right? So you come into the practice and you're in our office or any other office. If that front desk isn't smiling, um, I'd walk out. I mean, I'd, I'm just being real. If you walk into a practice and that front office is not s smiling to see you and excited that you came, um, you're looking at something that's probably, you're probably anxious about, and you're probably nervous, right? And you've maybe taken a lot of courage to even get in your car that morning and drive to the dental practice, and you sat in the, the, the parking lot. I've heard all the stories, right? Patients get here and they sit in the parking lot and they're just anxious about going in, and I can totally sympathize with you guys, and I, I get that as a huge trust thing to do that. And then finally, you muster up enough courage to trust somebody and you go in their front door and then everybody's distracted, nobody cares about you being there, um, and they're not smiling. So I would get out, first thing. Now if they're smiling and they're happy to see you and they were prepared for you, now that's a totally different feeling. And trust me, our team spends a ton of time preparing for each one of our patients so that we know who you are the best we can by sending out surveys, that we are going to engage you as a person first and a patient second. And that's really important. So the team 
is going to be the ones doing that. That is not me, right? I'm not gonna be at the front door greeting you when you come in. The team's gonna do that and they need to be doing that with enthusiasm and passion for the fact that they know why they went to work that day and that's to change people's lives with the power of a smile. Hopefully that helps you understand why a team is super valuable and really needs to be an integral part of a decision to trust a dental practice with your smile. That hopefully gets us now through point number three. Point number four is technology. While I believe technology is awesome and it definitely changes lives, it's not everything. But if a practice doesn't want to invest in technology, I would be a little concerned about where their heart is in providing the best for their patients because technology allows us to do that. And the way I think about investing at Innovative Dental and our whole team thinks about it is, can we impact patients' lives if we invest in this technology? Can we improve the care? Can we change their experience? Can we drastically improve the quality, the health, and the overall pain experience uh, and just the whole, whole deal with our patients? Can we make something drastically unique and different than that they've not experienced or are expecting? And if that answer is yes, then we are on board. Technology should be invested in for the purpose of improving people's lives not purely because it's a thought of how can I make money and what's my return on investment. And I can tell you, you can, you can get the sense of that with an office that spends a lot of money on uh, newer technology because I can tell you they're not gonna make it all back immediately. They're gonna have to do it for years and years, maybe decades to get it back. And so in the meantime, the enjoyment and the passion for providing the best is what drove that decision to invest in that technology. And I truly feel like if you want to pick an office that is going to give you the latest in dentistry, make sure you check out their technology on their website um, and ask about it when they're there. And it should be a prevalent part of what they do for their patients. There's your fourth point, technology. The last one is my favorite because I just had a patient today said, I just got a bad gut feeling about this, the last office I went to. And they're just like, I didn't feel good, my gut hurt. I just was like, I gotta trust my gut, I'm not gonna go there. She drives from a couple hours away to get care here because she trusted her gut that she needed to leave the practice and the care that she was getting wasn't the best. And that's what I say in the last one. It's number five, tip number five is trust the vibe or the gut. So listen to your internal voice, right? If you walk in and your whole experience, you are feeling good, confident, the team is energetic, the environment is positive, people are smiling, you know that what you're getting is gonna be the best, then you're, you're gonna kinda get the vibe that, you know, these people are legit and they're gonna be awesome and I can trust them and they're not in it just to see me as a number and, and get me in and out the door, but they're gonna invest their time and, and make something unique for me, that's a totally different vibe that you get. And you wouldn't buy a car from a car salesman if you didn't get a good vibe from them. Why would you trust your smile, uh, veneer work, implants? Uh, why would you trust anybody that you don't get a good vibe from? So to recap, tip number one is reviews and reputation. Two would be photos. Three would be team. Four would be technology. And the final one is trust the vibe. Well, my hope is that this video really helps a bunch of people find the right dentist for their oral health and that they're gonna find somebody who's gonna have a good connection with them, take good care of their teeth, give them the best, help them smile for the rest of their life. And uh, if it did, if this video was helpful and you find a dentist based off this video, please leave something in the comments, give a thumbs up, let me know that this is working because I wanna you know, help more people, but man, it's nice to hear that uh, it's making a difference for some people. And you know, if you're seeking a dentist, uh, maybe for cosmetic dentistry, don't let distance keep you from coming to Innovative Dental. We have a program called Smiles Within Reach that helps relieve that challenge of distance and gets you here to our practice and gives you a smile and a single visit and allows you to return home uh, with considerable cost savings, especially in many markets. So check us out. It's called Smiles Within Reach. If you're interested, definitely give us a call. It's 889-4746. Um, you can also go to our website, idspringfield.com. Uh, please give this a like. You know, smash the thumbs up button if that's something you're into. Um, comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and maybe some other ideas about videos that you would want me to make. 
And until next time, keep smiling.